What will Earth and humans look like in 1,000 years? Hey, I don't know about you, but in a thousand years, I'm gonna look pretty bad. You know, shriveled up, dusty, you know, dead. Oh, oh, you're talking about humans in the future. Oh, never mind. You know, one year ago in his speech at Oxford University Union, the legendary Stephen Hawking proclaimed that humanity could only survive for another thousand years. Sounds scary, right? Well, we at Brightside decided to find out whether our future is doomed or bright. And so we put together a list of the most exciting predictions for a new millennium. You could expect colonies in space and super-fast computers. But a house that you can disassemble and put together in a matter of minutes? And X-ray eyes! Wow! Give this video a like to launch our time machine. We're traveling to the future, so buckle up and enjoy the ride! Counting down from number 10. Humans will live for a thousand years. Billionaires are already investing millions of dollars into research on slowing or stopping aging completely. When you have billions like the founders of Google, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, why not invest it in an opportunity to be spending them for another thousand years? In 3017, medical engineers could design remedies for each component that causes tissues to age. Gene editing tools are already here which could potentially control our genes and make humans immune to a disease. Inserting healthy genes will give us stronger bones, lower risk of cancer, and it will make us tolerant to pain. However, it might also become a source of surprise. Would you like to have fuchsia eyes? No? It is just one of the natural mutation editing genes might cause. A fun one, right? Number 9 we'll be able to transfer our minds to different bodies. Have you seen Selfless? Ryan Reynolds is in it, and that sounds like a reason good enough to watch it for some people already. But it is not just about him. In this movie, Sir Ben Kingsley decides to live forever, and so he transfers his mind to Ryan's body. Sounds fantastic, right? Well, it might be a thing of the future. A human brain has about 86 billion neurons in it. They send signals to each other, and to recall something, the same network of neurons is activated. So, if we make a map of all the neurons in the brain, we could create a computer model of it, something like a virtual brain. It means we could download all our memories to a computer, and uploading might also be possible. Scientists who have developed optogenics are already actively working in it. They're using algae in their experiments so far, and they're doing well. The human brain is way more complicated, so it will take time, but they might just get there in a thousand years. Number 8. Humans will move to another planet. In a thousand years from now, the only way for humanity to survive might be to establish some settlements in space. SpaceX has a mission to enable humans to become a spacefaring civilization and a multi-planet species by building a self-sustaining city on Mars. The founder of the company, Elon Musk, hopes to have the first launch of their spacecraft by 2022, with four flying to Mars by 2024. Life on Mars will not be the same as on Earth, of course. It gets 66% less sunlight and has a 62% weaker gravitational pull than Earth. So humans who live there are likely to develop larger pupils to absorb more light. They will also be taller, since their spines will get longer as their vertebrae fluid will expand. Moving to another planet sounds pretty real with all the crazy transportation the bright minds are working on today. Elon Musk himself introduced the Hyperloop, the underground transportation system which takes you from San Francisco to Los Angeles in just 35 minutes. Skylon is being developed in the UK. It's a super-fast plane that will take you from London to Sydney in 4 hours and even fly into space. Number 7. We will all look the same. Yes, ladies, Ryan Reynolds and I will look just the same. Shriveled, dusty, and dead. Eh, well. Oh wait, we're talking about the future. <laughs> okay. Well, if there is a chance we will all look the same anyways, does it mean you can stop working out now and still look like Angelina Jolie in the future? Hold on! We're not talking about right now. It might happen centuries from now. And no, not everyone will look like Angelina Jolie. 
In his speculative thought experiment, Dr. Kwan hypothesized that in the distant future, more than 100,000 years from now, humans would change in their appearance. Dr. Kwan holds a PhD in computational genomics from Washington University, so he knows what he's talking about. According to him, humans will develop a larger forehead, larger nostrils, larger eyes, and more pigmented skin. So, we're gonna look like Chilly Willy? Anyway, scientists are already working on ways to edit genomes so that parents can choose the way their children will look. What will it mean to us? Well, it's not just about the beauty of the future baby, of course. Editing the genes of an embryo could help us fight genetic diseases before the baby is even born. However, when a group of scientists from China shared the results of their embryo gene editing experiments, it caused a lot of debates. Is it ethical to change a future human? Do we actually have the right to do it? Share your opinions on this in the comment section. Number 6. There will be super-fast intelligent computers. In 2014, a supercomputer carried out the most accurate simulation of the human brain to date. In a thousand years from now, computers are predicted to match and overtake the computational speed of the human brain and solve tasks that take a normal computer a decade to solve. In the new century, quantum computers will help in developing more effective drugs and diagnosis, enhancing space exploration, and helping automobiles drive themselves. At the same time, quantum computing might pose a real threat to privacy and information security. If it breaks public key cryptography, it will be able to give access to data that everyone is not supposed to have access to, like that of the military and other not-for-everyone fields. Number 5. Humans will become cyborgs Machines can already enhance human hearing and eyesight. Scientists and engineers are developing bionic eyes to help blind people see. The next step could be making our eyes portable x-ray machines. Yes, the dream of every 12-year-old boy will finally come true. The extra-sensitive hearing could also be something normal for the humans of 3017. In a thousand years from now, Merging with technology might be the only way for humanity to compete with artificial intelligence. Yes, those robots you see on TV and science fairs might look sweet, but who knows what they have in their mechanical minds. It is better to be safe than sorry. Merging human minds with computers would create a super brain that could perform complex equations and search the internet just by thinking. Now, who is the smart one here, robot guy? Number 4. Mass extinction is on the way. Run! <laughs> Wait, don't run. First, listen. The last mass extinction wiped out the dinosaurs from the face of the Earth. A recent study revealed that the rate of extinction for species in the 20th century has been up to 100 times higher than would have been normal without human impact. According to some scientists, only the gradual shrinkage of the human population can help civilization to persist. More and more humans means an ever-growing demand for food and water. Humans are trying to effectively use every piece of land and destroy the natural habitats of many species. And there is air and water pollution as well. So, if we do nothing to change this situation, our planet will not be the same in a thousand years. And it won't be a change for the better. Number 3. We will all speak the same global language. Now, don't we all speak one global language already? Obviously we do. But it is not all that simple. What is the most widely spoken language in the world today? Click like if you think it's English. Well, we've got news for you. You're wrong. Chinese has over a billion native speakers, and English only around 360 million. Another half a billion speak English as their second language. So, we can't be sure English, as we know it today, will just replace all other languages of the world, you see. The major factor that is most likely to lead to a universal language is the streamlining of languages. Linguists predict that 100 years from now, 90% of languages will disappear due to migration, and those that remain will become simplified. The world currently speaks 6,000 languages and only 600 of them are likely to survive by 2117. So anything is possible by 3017. A Tower of Babel scenario still seems unlikely, though. There is a good chance people of the world will just become bilingual. 
and the linguistic Armageddon will not come upon us. Number 2. Buildings will assemble and disassemble on command. In the future, humans are likely to be able to create a virtual world around them, using the concept of utility fog. The utility fog idea was introduced by Dr. Hall and represents a polymorphic material comprised of trillions of interlinked microscopic robots that can essentially create any shape. Dr. Hall himself describes utility fog as the stuff that dreams are made of. Kind of like what Humphrey Bogart would say. Well, imagine this. You got a new coach. Guys, that's a kind of purse. A month later, you grew tired of it. That happens, we know. You saw a different one somewhere, and now you want it, not your previous purchase. So you either start hating on your coach, but use it anyway, or you get rid of it and spend money on a new one. Your husband hates you, you start a fight, everyone is unhappy. With utility fog, you can make the tiny robots inside your coach transform it into a new one. New furniture every day? Yes! Change wall colors, the floor plan, or your entire home as often as you want? Easy! You can even disassemble your home as you leave for work and then get it back in the evening to save space. You can also make a utility fog car. <laughs> Do you want it already? Just wait! It might be there sooner than 3017. Or not. And number 1. Nanotechnology will solve the energy and pollution crisis. A thousand years from now, nanotechnology will be able to clean up environmental damage, purify air and water, and capture the energy of the sun. Nuclear fusion energy power plants with no carbon emissions, lab-grown meat to feed the world will all be a reality. New materials will answer the need for new environmentally friendly and more efficient energy storage technology. They will be a thousand to ten thousand times more powerful than those we use today. Electric cars will recharge as quick as petrol ones today and will replace the environmentally non-friendly vehicles. This technology, which was adapted from that of soft contact lens making – science can be sometimes pretty ironic, huh? – will be used in aerospace, energy generation, and the production of household items as basic as mobile phones and flat-screen devices. How do you like this picture of our distant future? Of course, we'll all be dead, but which of the technologies described in this video would you like to try if you could? Share your opinion! Hit the like button and click subscribe to always stay on the bright side!